June 6, 1944, D-Day. As Allied troops stormed Normandy, a secret British engineering project was about to silence every skeptic in London and Washington. Two years earlier, engineer Major Alan Beckett proposed something insane, building floating harbors so supplies could land without capturing a French port. Most experts laughed. You can't anchor concrete in open seas, they said. Even Winston Churchill called the idea risky, but he approved it anyway. The project was called Mulberry. Hundreds of concrete caissons, steel roadways and sunken ships were assembled off the English coast. Each section was towed across the channel right after D-Day through rough water and German fire. Within just days, these artificial harbors were fully operational. Trucks, tanks and fuel flowed straight from ships to the beaches. Over 2.5 million men, 500,000 vehicles and 4 million tons of supplies came through them. What skeptics called impossible became one of history's greatest feats of military engineering. The Mulberry Harbors didn't just float, they carried the Allied invasion toward victory in Europe. Even Hitler's generals later admitted, we underestimated British engineering.